with some elephant. Lou, did I hear that wrong? <laughs> it's definitely, oh, Eland, Eland, get it. I, <laughs> I get it. I just slightly misheard. I was going to say it's a big antelope. It's not quite as big as the elephants that we see out here. Not, not, we're not there just yet. But this is probably one of the closest views I've had since I arrived in the Mara of some bull elant. There's a herd that lives up at the top of the mountain with us and we get to see them almost every day. It's a strange thing if you see them wandering around with the cattle and then off they go, moving off into the wilds. But it's been really lovely to see these massive antelope again. Now there's another vehicle that's going to come past us very shortly. Buddy, morning. And there's some mating lions just a bit further on. Yeah, if you just keep going towards Serena. Yeah. Yeah, towards the Serena you'll see all the vehicles. Cool. Alright, enjoy. Hi guys. Hello. Good, thanks. How are you? Thank you. Good. Um, all good. There's some mating lines if you drive towards Serena. Yeah. Yeah, I see the vehicles there. Okay, enjoy. Cheers, guys. Right, I, Lou, I'm sorry, I have no idea what you just asked me. I was preoccupied, you know. Marita, you want to know whether or not Elant are endangered. They're not endangered, they're not listed as endangered. Uh, they are a more, in South Africa at least, you see them far more frequently in slightly more arid areas. Here we go, hold on one sec. Just give me a moment. No point talking about them if you can't see them. They're making their way back towards the water. They're beautiful. They really are a beautiful antelope. I don't, as far as I know, they're not listed as endangered yet. I'm pretty sure that they are around about um, the, the sort of the classification of the IUCN is around about least concern. So it's not an antelope that we need to be worried about. They're not endangered. They haven't reached the point of even being vulnerable at this stage. So not something we need to worry about. Oh, well, of course we need to worry about all wildlife, but not an endangered species. Just one that we don't see all that often. Jenny, you want to know if Elant are the largest antelope in South Africa and in Africa. They are. They're the largest antelope in the world. There are, however, two different types of antelope. One is the giant antelope that you'll find around South Sudan, so north of us. And the giant antelope is much, much larger than the common antelope. So there are different types, and within the sort of the giant antelope, there are, there's actually two different subspecies. But this is the common elant and it's the sort of the the southern elant or the common elant and you'll find them around South Africa and you'll find them within East Africa as well so they are slightly slightly smaller than the giant elant also known you might have heard it referred to as the Lord Derby elant and they are just a little bit larger are you looking at potentially out here, the, the Elant bulls, I don't think, are going to get much larger than around about 800 or so kilograms, whereas the, the giant Elant can reach up to a ton. A big Elant bull, which is astounding. That's absolutely extraordinary. That's a size that's bigger than a buffalo. There's some wildebeest looking very lost. Where are the rest of, it? Where are the, rest of the herd? We appear to have jumped the gun ever so slightly. Oh dear. More cars coming. We're going to have to do some shuffling. Oh my goodness, lots of cars coming. Here comes the dust. Word of lions has spread. And we did move out of that lion sighting just because there were quite a few people who needed to come into the position we were in in order to see them. Now, Lara, you would like to know what makes the elant an antelope and not a cow. There'll be subtle differences within their genetics. I mean, they are, although cows, oh goodness, let's just sit here. 
although cows and antelope so are all part of a much larger order they're all part of the same order they are completely distinct and elands are far more closely related to something like a kudu or for example a nyala or a any of the spiral horned family so they're part of the spiral horned antelope tribe eland kudu nyala bushbuck i'm just going to blink the, the dust out of my eyeballs bushbuck sitsatunga those sorts of animals so they're much more closely related they are most definitely an antelope it's in their structure of their legs it's in the structure of their bodies and it's in their behavior as well all right i'm going to try and regain the use of my retinas while we do let's go back to james at his tower to finish off the sunrise safari